cops come to your house, you have a Pomeranian, you got a dog. The dog is a little excited. Cop is yelling, I shoot him. She tries to shoot the dog, misses the dog and shoots you. And then lies and say, oh, I ain't shoot nobody. Put up the picture for a mask. That's exactly what happened. Lawsuit has now been filed against the Columbia County, Arkansas deputy, the sheriff, the sheriff's office after the deputy shot at a Pomeranian. But the bullet hit the woman standing on her front porch instead. Tina Height, the woman who was shot on August 2022, initially called 911 for help with a domestic violence incident. But now has a bullet lodged in her skin due to an irresponsible, irrational police officer. And not only is she dealing with the anxiety of this, but also ongoing doctor's visits. Quote, I'm nervous to ever call the police again. That's for sure, Height said. I expected him to come for my protection. And instead, I was the victim. Let's put up this picture, okay? This woman deserved protection, not to be shot. Because the officer did not like dogs. Williams appeared to aim at the Pomeranian, but instead hit Miss Height, who was standing right next to another deputy. Now, just, just pause on that moment. This means that the cop, as easily as he shot her, could have shot. The other cop. This is how irresponsible these individuals are. Later in the video, Williams claims one of Height's dogs scratched her instead of her being shot. Now, I've seen the video, and for uh, licensing purposes, we're not able to show the full video, but I can tell you what I saw in the video clearly. He shoots, you hear a scream. You cannot fake this kind of scream. This is the kind of scream that's so authentic, anyone knows it's real, even that cop. And you hear her say, you shot me. You hear others trying to get her inside of the home. He's saying, no, 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 I shot, I shot the dog, I shot at the dog. I ain't sure. No, he did, but he tried to claim that the dog must have bit her. Trey Kitchens. Heights attorney called the deputy's actions beyond negligent. I agree with Trey. Quote, he missed. He didn't hit the dog and instead shot my client with his fellow deputy standing about eight inches away from my client. Now, I want to say this. When the deputy arrived and the dog was barking, his whole attitude was just really, really extreme. He pulled out his gun immediately. Get your dog, I'm gonna shoot him. Get your dog, I'm gonna shoot him. Get your dog, I'm gonna shoot him. He said that over and over again. There was nothing in his voice that would have caused anybody to deescalate, including the dog who was just excited because of all of the energy back and forth. This woman called because of a domestic violence incident. This man came there and shot the woman and could have shot his colleague and then lied about it. When obviously he should have been trying to make sure she got help. But he's in the damn video talking about he didn't just shoot somebody. Lawsuit also names the former Columbia County Sheriff. This is Mike Lowe. All right. Kitchen said, quote, while also alleging that the sheriff clearly did not train him properly, did not educate him, did. And if that kind of behavior is appropriate, that's a big issue. With that department in general, once again, I concur. Uh, let's go to the acting sheriff today. This is uh, Sheriff Leroy Martin wrote on Facebook this week in response to uh, KATV's reporting, quote, as your sheriff, I must respond to this inaccurate story. During this incident, I was not the acting sheriff, but I will say that the incident was investigated by the Arkansas State Police and the deputy was cleared 
the incident was handled by the previous sheriff. And I too will stand with our deputy on this matter. That is called a feckless leader. Uh, the man shot a person who called 911. Let, let's put it this way, Sheriff. What if, let's say, somebody who's not a cop tries to shoot a dog because the dog is barking, but instead shoots a human being? Do you arrest that person for at least gross negligence? Of course you do. Criminal negligence, that's the charge. Even if there was no intent, intent can be transferred. Which means you had no business trying to shoot the dog anyway. So the intent is transferred from the dog to the human being. You can make an arrest. But all of a sudden the rules change when it's a cop. All right, um, so there was a request for the deputy's personal file in a search of reprimand or suspension documents, but guess what, none exist. It's unclear whether the deputy has gone through any additional training because of the incident. However, his file does include training certification spanning over several years. And this is why lawsuits are so important. Um, the lawsuit will eventually bring out the facts as they have been covered. People are going to go under oath, deposition, or they will simply say, let us simply admit to what happened, pay the settlement. So we do not have to be forced to tell the truth or do the unthinkable, lie under oath and get charged ourselves. So sad. Jeff, thoughts here. As much content as I create about the police and as much as we talk about police here on this show, you'd be hard pressed to find me shocked about any story about law enforcement. And I gotta tell you, I am so surprised about how bad this is, but I do wanna add this. The DOJ estimates that around 25 to 30 dogs are killed by cops every day, with some numbers as high as 10,000 per year. The totals could in fact be higher since most police agencies do not formally track officer involved shootings involving animals. Gross, yep. that's all okay. I'm saying, this is messed up. At first I didn't even know what a Pomeranian was and I looked it up. I'm like, what was that dog going to do to you to where you needed to shoot it and missed by the way? Yeah, I mean, almost killed mm. her and honestly, his colleague eight inches away from her, but he gets no penalty. He gets cleared, there's no negligence and the new sheriff is standing by him because he wasn't the sheriff back then. Man, please, 